David Furnish is half of one of the world's most famous couples, a prominent campaigner in the fight against AIDS, the rolling back of gay rights, and in lockstep with his husband, Sir Elton John, over what he describes as the homophobic treatment of Philip Schofield. Without question, Philip Schofield, and Elton agrees, behaved inappropriately. Um, and it could be perceived as an abuse of power. I think the media's response, and only certain parts of the media, was so disproportionately large and cruel and personal that, to me, it felt like homophobia because I don't think we would have had the same response if it had been between a man and a woman. At his home in Windsor, David Furnish also spoke out about what he sees as attacks on trans rights and explained why he disagrees with J.K. Rowling. I have tremendous admiration for what J.K. has done with Harry Potter. I don't like to see any community singled out or stigmatised. Um, and I think when you have a platform like she has, um, if I was in her shoes, I would direct it towards doing what I do best, which is bringing people together through my, through my work and through my art and my culture. Protective too over the Duke and Duchess of Sussex. He received a lot of flack for taking the stand. He's had a difficult few years. How's he doing now? He's taken a lot of flack in the media. And you have to remember, he's taking on the media. So what actually happens in the courtroom and what you read about in the newspaper are often two very, very different things. He was very pleased the way things went in court, and he's doing really well. Good. Next for David Furnish and Sir Elton, a new £100 million initiative to try to end the AIDS epidemic by 2030. But before that, this weekend sees Sir Elton's swan song, the 76-year-old superstar performing his final UK concert at Glastonbury. He's got four different collaborators joining him at stage at different times. Mm -hmm. I think he's, he's anxious, yeah, but I think good anxious, healthy anxious. He just thought I'd really like to do something with these artists at Glastonbury. A big weekend for a megastar couple still with so much to do when it comes to battling AIDS. Beth Rigby, Sky News.